Good morning. Welcome to another Photoshop lesson. This time we're going to be looking at an artist called Victoria Seema, and she caused a sensation on the internet a little while ago with her storm in a teacup. I'll show you a few examples to have a look. So you can see she places like waves and storms inside teacups. Obviously, this looks amazing. She's a really talented artist, and we will have a look at how to do a similar version. I'll leave that one with a whale over there. First of all, we need to find some photos. I've just taken a picture of a cup and saucer. Here it is, so I'll enlarge the screen. I'll go and use my snipping tool to snip the picture like we did before. I'll create a snip of the teacup, make sure I've got the shadow and the table in the frame. Okay, I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna to go to Photoshop. I'm gonna go File, New. I'm gonna look for the clipboard option, click Create. And I'm going to press Control V and I've pasted my cup. Now I need to go back to my drive, have a look for the pictures I took of some waves down at Hastings Beach the other day, looking for a really nice example one. That would be fantastic having those waves. So I'm going to use the snipping tool again. This time I'm not going to take the whole picture, I'm just going to take some of the picture so that I get the effect I'm looking for. There we go. Now remember, if you don't clip on the snipping tool, you won't actually create a snip, so new, and draw the box, create the snip, and then I go back to Photoshop, I can go edit, paste, or control V, whichever works best. Now, I've got two layers, there's my cup, there's my waves. Now, I want the waves to be looking like they are coming out of the cup. So this is where it gets more exciting. I might stretch it slightly so I've got a bigger looking wave. And I want this to look like it's inside the cup. So, like with the animal face, if I make this layer slightly see-through, I'll be able to see a little bit more about where it will line up. So I want the waves crashing across the cup and looking like they're spilling out. So, I would suggest... Possibly there, maybe slightly over. And I'm thinking about there, maybe a little bit more. Now, before I showed you how to use the rubber, so I could use the eraser and I could rub bits of it out. But because I've got a shape already there with the cup, I can use a different tool this time. I can use the elliptical marquee tool. Now this is great because it will create a very straight shape, in this case an ellipse, and to do it I need to line it up. So I look for the edge of the cup in both directions, imagine there's a line going across here, and then I draw my shape across and it should fill the cup. Now that would be great if I wanted to have the wave right to the brim, but most people don't have tea right up to the brim of their cup, so I'll do it again. This time I'm Imagine that I'm inside, so I leave a little bit of a rim. Now, you might find you have to try this out a couple of times to get the exact right spot to take the ellipse from, because you want it to look perfect. So, approximately there, I think would work. Now, once I've got this shape, if I highlight and click on the eye next to the layer with the waves, you can see which part of the waves is inside the shape. Now, I'm going to do this one of two ways. The easiest way to do this is to go edit, copy, edit, paste. And then you see I have copied out that part of the storm. Now, it doesn't quite fit where I want it. So now that I've got most of it, I'm going to change the shape ever so slightly so that it is a perfect fit within the cup and there you have it so now it looks like i'm having a cup of tea and there's a huge wage crashing through it okay that's the basics experiment see how you get on and let me know thank you very much for watching and enjoy making a storm in a teacup thank you